So on Friday in chemistry, we made penny batteries. Unfortunately, my penny battery didn't work and I couldn't quite know why. So I wanted to try it again at home with a little more stable conditions and stuff like that. So this isn't gonna be the most visually interesting video of all time, but hopefully it should do the trick just nicely. First things first, I have some lemon juice, some pennies, uh, aluminum foil, scissors, and uh, cardboard. The lemon juice is there to act as the acid in place of vinegar because I believe lemon juice works a little bit better. And cardboard is in place of the coffee filters. I think that cardboard will work just better overall because it's a little stiffer. So I'm gonna try it this and see what happens. One more thing before we continue. Um, I forgot to mention that I'd be using uh, aluminum instead of the nickel like we did in the second time because it's higher up on whatever table that is, I think it's table J, and hopefully that should uh, oxidize harder or quicker, whatever the term is, and it should work better. So, yeah. So after you cut all of the pieces, next thing is you have to take these little bits of cardboard, which are actually a cereal box, and dip them in an acid, which in this case is lemon juice. Now that those are well soaked, we can take them out and just let them sit here and let the paper towel soak up a little bit of their wetness because it's a tad too wet for our purposes. Okay, now, now we can start assembling the battery. So we take one piece of aluminum, put it on the bottom, take a piece of cardboard, put it on top, take a penny and put it up. All of that. Let's press that down to make sure it's all touching each other and hopefully this will work. I have a really old multimeter, so its display isn't like nice and easy to read, so I'll just read out what it says instead of showing it. Hopefully, we should get voltage. And we're getting about 0.25 volts, which is very good. Yay, it like works. So, I shall go and expand this battery into something a little more, and we shall continue. Yeah, more, more voltage. Yay. It's working. So we're getting about 1.2 volts and that's about as much as um, your average, you know, alkaline battery provides. Now, we aren't getting nearly as much energy, but we are getting the same amount of voltage. Still getting about 1.2 volts, and we're also getting about 30 microamps. Now, this isn't exactly a lot, and I'll put up how many watts that is and all that on the screen, but it's, it's working, and that's good. Let's get some more aluminum. So it seems as though we've hit about the capacity of this battery. I have a feeling some things are touching that shouldn't be touching, and there's not really much I can do about it, but we're hitting about 1.2 volts, and around 30 microamps. And I just ruined the battery. Darn it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you've learned that pennies can make energy and stuff like that. So yeah, penny batteries. They're fun. Mm -hmm.